Good Lord, son. What have they done to you, Jeff? They got you all torn to pieces. Nobody cares. You ain't paying the bills anyway. Jim, hey. got your hair dye. Oh, come on now. I got your hair dye. What are you doing? Taking a nap? Hey, you just in time. Just about, in time. I'm about ready to fire this baby up. By God, don't let me slow you down. First time. You ready? Fingers crossed. Now, I'm going to tell you something, Jim. This thing sounds phenomenal. This thing sounds mean. How about that? I'm telling you. So, and we're not even all the way done yet. Nope. Nope. Way so too tuned. And we're liking injectors too, right? We like injectors. The next time you see this car, oh, Jim, I have a little bit darker hair. <laughs> this bad boy is going to be on the dyno in Tennessee at DBR. And we're going to see if her bite's just as bad as her bark. Because I know one thing, if it turns dino numbers half as good as it sounds, there's going to be some people in trouble. We got a lot of surprises lined up your way. And I'm going to tell you something, when she leaves DBR in Tennessee, we got a whole truckload of parts coming from SRI, Mooresville, North Carolina, ready to go on this bad boy. Jim, son, and I know we're going to get these guys jumping on YouTube, talking about all this technical stuff, and I only know bits and pieces of it. I'm pitch man. You know that. Yeah. I see all these parts, and the first thing that catches my mind is this big old supercharger on top of this LS3. So we got a 6.2 with a whole load of Brian Tooley parts inside yep. of it. Yep. But we got this big old bread box Maxon supercharger on there. That's right. Obviously, just the elephant in the room. Everybody, hey, Cletus truck, Cletus truck. Quit saying Cletus truck. Cletus truck's dead right now. When he comes back, we'll worry about Cletus. Right now, Cletus needs to worry about us. This is what I'm worried. This is my thing. With a supercharged engine like this in this setup, and you guys hear this thing. This car sounds evil and wicked, but really and truthfully, this is a very mild, streetable setup. It is. My wife could drive it. And his wife isn't Shirley Moe Downey or anything nope, either. Nope, nope, nope. But <clears throat> with that being said, though, you know, I might have dropped a hint when I said streetable. What I love about this is, is till you get into the go pedal, this bad boy right here is just hanging on. It's just right here on the rod. It's smooth. So we're intercooled. Yes, big intercooler. I mean, that's this is the thing. You know, we've got all this horsepower. And, and you know, we've got a number, and I'm not going to say it out loud that we projected at, and it should do, and yep. I'll feel better when it's on the big screen at DBR. That's but, right. you know, we got a lot of neat little tricks along the way. And I mean, this thing's got more bars in a prison already, but now, hell, this thing's got more wires in it than a damn <laughs> nuclear power station. Goodness gracious, live. Of course, there again, we got a lot of technology going on in here. That's right. And I'll tell you something else, too. I know it's this little bad boy, and I've seen this in some race car stuff. It's got this race pack set up in it. Yep. So not only is this monitoring all our vitals, we can also store three tunes in this. Yep. So now on the fly, we can go from mama's riding with me to I'm ready to die in one button push. Pretty much. That is friggin' killer. That's pretty cool. It is killer. And I mean, that's just one of the six speed transmission, dual disc yep. clutch, nine inch forward rear end. You know, Ford does make a good rear end. It's about yep. the only thing to say for them, but they do make a good rear differential. Right. Loon radiator, big old brakes. Of course, all that's coming from our friends at SRI. So we got a car that's going to run like a bat out of hell, go left, go right, go straight, and stop on a dime. Mm -hmm. I love this thing. It's like the ultimate hillbilly supercar. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know what the coolest part is? The coolest part ever. The coolest part ever. There's all these engineers and all these smart guys, and she's built right here in the South. A bunch of good old boys, you know what I'm saying? I love it. You know By what I mean? By some old country boys. By some old country boys. That's right. I, I, you know, I made a good living being a slow-talking Southern boy, you know? I love it. I love it. 
This thing is just cool, though. I mean, it's just it's exciting to see what has happened in a very short amount of time with a car that's, you know, I mean, just from nothing to, man, I mean, this thing, God. So I do notice one thing. Our pulleys don't look right. So we're waiting on yeah. pulleys for this thing because we got an underdrive pulley set up going on the blower. That's correct. So we can get more boost. Right. Like we don't have enough. Yeah, we don't have enough. Well, never, no, never, never, never. never and speaking of not having enough, how about these fuel pumps in the back of this thing? Two. Two. Air equipped fuel pumps. Yep. So we're pushing more gas than a Texaco station on a Saturday morning <laughs> through this thing. There you go. And this is going to be a user friendly setup. Yes, it is. I'm ready to see this thing on the road. Me too. I am too. I'm like like right now it's cool, but I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see it fry some tires or something. Break some stuff. These damn things ain't nothing but just losing proposition. Losing proposition, but I love it. <laughs> I tell you what, I want to give a big shout out to Jim here at Petty Performance in beautiful sweet home, Alabama. Of course, we're friends at SRI. Like I said, next time you see this bad boy, she's going to be sitting at DBR on the rack, on the dyno. Fingers crossed, we hit the number we want. But I tell that we got any JC Pennies around here. I like that look he just had on his face. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars. Very first guy who taught me radio, he told me, he told me one thing. He said, "You talk like nobody's listening." I'm the I'm the backstage guy. He's that guy. He, he used to tell me that all the time. Then our numbers came back. He said, "People are listening." By the way, <laughs> he said, no, "Just now, not throw anything on you. People are listening." But just keep it up. All right. See, my wife does all the talking. I ain't a big talker. Oh. All right. Are we hot? Y'all ready? Good deal. I love it. Coming to you from Petty Performance down here in down here in Sweet Home, Alabama. Y'all boys got any JC Pennies around here? <laughs> yes.